WRSR, Owasso Flint. The following program has been pre-recorded and is paid for by Discover Flint Township. The views expressed are those of Discover Flint Township and do not necessarily reflect the views of 103.9 The Fox or Krill Communications, Inc. Welcome to Discover Flint Township, a program showcasing our local community. Flint Township is ready for your next move. And now, your host, Flint Township Economic Enhancement Director, Tracy Tucker. I'm Tracy Tucker, and this is Discover Flint Township, brought to you by the Flint Township Economic Development Authorities, HAP, Financial Plus Credit Union, and Shea Automotive Group, and 103.9 Vox, where we're sitting today. Uh, this morning, I have my good friend here, at least I call her that. I don't know if she'd Absolutely. call me that. But <laughs> <laughs> Anything but late for dinner. Right? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Bridget Hollingsworth Stafford here from HAP. And we are just going to talk about what's been happening in the HAP world and some of the great events they've been involved in. You know, Genesee County has seen some major events over the last couple of weeks. And so we just want to bring everybody up to speed on what's been happening. So, yeah, so many great things happening. We're still recovering from the crim. Uh What a wonderful day that turned out to be, despite the heat. Oh, it was hot. Yeah, we had a lot of people who either decided to take it easy. Uh, Mm -hmm. One of the things about the crim in in the training programs, they always tell you if the temperature is above a certain level Mm -hmm. um, for your training run, you should plan to do half of what you initially planned and so we had a lot of people like in my personal running group who said you know I'm gonna walk today I'm not gonna run Mm -hmm. Uh, we had others who said I'm gonna start early you know they did change or make it a little bit more open so people could start their race whenever you know within a a broader time frame I think that helped some people because they were able to run earlier in a little bit less heat of the Mm -hmm. day but I feel like all in all, there were so many wonderful experiences and stories that came sure. out of the crim this year, despite the heat, that we're super thrilled with how things went. That's great. And they had, didn't they have some new routes this year, too? Yeah, they did, especially the 10-mile route changed a little bit, um, partly due to some street you know, construction and so forth. But mm-hmm. uh, runners were taken through some new neighborhoods in Flint. And I think I had some feedback from people, you know, they didn't know that that neighborhood was there. And <laughs> so it was kind of cool, because that is one of the great things I think about the CRIM, it exposes people to Flint who've never really, um, a lot of whom have never really been here. And so right, to be right. able to show off a little bit and to... Uh, Good or bad, all yeah, they hear is exactly. what's on the news, right? Right. right. <laughs> so that was that was awesome. We had really great engagement. We, we came up with some fun giveaways that people really, really latched yeah. on to. And so that was fun. You know, we were famous for kind of the cooling towel things. Right. People were getting a kick out of that. Um, and honestly, just seeing the the people back again on the right. route, on the flat lot, is is just, I think, a great sign and symbol for, you know, let's let's be safe and let's be careful, but let's get back together and let's keep doing things that are going to keep us active and healthy. Yeah, your, your giveaways brings to mind <laughs> another story of an event. I don't know, were, were you guys involved in the Ally Challenge or no? Oh. <laughs> you got request. You got a request right, to provide yes. um, some tchotchkes or right. you know some giveaways, and your cooling towels made. All the rage. They did. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell well, you the know, story? Yeah, I really owe some kudos to Leela Forrest, and she's the president of the Grand Blank Chamber of Commerce, right. and she's a good friend and a great supporter of HAP, and she noticed the cooling towels at the crim and had this wonderful brainstorm idea. I think those would go over great at the golf tournament today. Uh, yep. And so we said, well, sure, take some along with you. And within an hour or two, she texted me, and she's like, oh, these are going like hotcakes. People love it. And so um, this was kind of funny, Tracy. So I <laughs> I was at the crim at that time, and of course, all of our uh-huh. leadership team was there. And and so I asked our CEO, Mike Janord, Doctor Mike uh-huh. Janord. I said, "Hey, Doc, can you help me?" Like, so I basically <laughs> had the CEO loading my car with stuff, and uh, and uh, so long story short, I was able to get more of the cooling towels out there to Lee at the uh, Ally Challenge, and yeah, they were a super big hit. And who to thunk with you know the weather being so hot? But yeah, yeah. that was a a great well, kind of uh, what I heard was it wasn't just the uh, fans that were using your cooling towels. Right. I got a text. It's like, dude, 
<laughs> she said every player, every caddy, every um, sign holder is using those. I'm like, oh boy. Yeah, so, so those are the, uh, the accidental awesome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got some good mileage out of that. Yeah, and, uh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. and we're actually prepping for some more events here um, that we're going to, you know, go with that sort of thing. So, okay. you know, we also had another super awesome event last week, Wayne the Barber, who a lot of folks know. Mm -hmm. um, not only is he uh, an awesome barber, but he is a great um, person who is helping young people find ways to use their talents. He sure. had an awesome back to school event where we, uh, it was, a, you know, get your backpack, mm -hmm. get your haircut, get ready for school. And, uh, and HAP, you know, HAP Empowered with our Medicaid brand especially. We were thrilled to be there, had some awesome interactions and so many kids left, you know, ready for school. And that's just really kind of what we're here for. Sometimes these things sort of happen by accident. Sometimes right. there's a grand plan, but ultimately sure. we are here and in one of our taglines, HAP is here. Mm -hmm. HAP is here to address needs in the community. And mm -hmm. if we can find ways to help people get food, we can find ways to help get safe and affordable housing, if we can help uh, people get job training, they're going to be a better, uh, better able to focus on things like getting a mammogram or getting a checkup. If sure. you don't know where your next meal is coming from, a mammogram isn't on your top 10 list, right? right? Yeah, exactly. So a lot exactly. of what, what we focus on is trying to help make sure that those basic needs mm -hmm. are being met. And help people, you know, avoid heat exhaustion. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, we've already had requests from other agencies. Hey, that'd be a great thing for us to have for our events. So I, I think we, but we struck you're right, though. I mean, I, I'm making light of the cooling towel, uh, towel issue, but when you you need to have your basic needs met before you can worry about future needs, right? Exactly. And so a lot of people, if they if they don't know where their next meal is coming from, they're not worrying about 20 down, years down the road, they might get something that's inoperable if they don't take preventative measures now, right? Right. So. And that's why it is so important to address those basic needs to make sure that we right. have partners in the community that can help us address them. Obviously, we're a health insurance company. We don't have food available, but right. we have partners. You right. know, the the uh, Food Bank of Eastern Michigan, we work so closely right. with. We help with the senior food boxes to make mm -hmm. sure that the seniors in our community have um, access to healthy food. Yeah. Um, and it's just really a, an offshoot of what we're we're doing in terms of, you know, we do a lot more than just pay medical claims when they come in. Oh, exactly. I mean, HAP's always been a great uh, community partner and whenever we've needed um, uh, help and resources to help bring things to our residents, um, HAP, HAP has always stepped up. So, um, th so we had the CRIM, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. the Ally Challenge, mm -hmm. uh, we had Back to the Bricks, right. just happened. Now we got... Uh, uh, bikes on the bricks is right. coming up and we'll we'll talk more about that later and then we start into our fall stuff kids going back to school and all that and we've got uh another event that's coming up and we'll probably give it a, a couple minutes and we'll get to that because i want to end the show with it but we're we have um the salute the troops coming. I, I let's go ahead and talk about it now. We okay. had we had uh we've got an event that uh Discover Flint Township is working with HAP and uh HAP is working with uh one oh three point nine the Fox. Right. They're working with um um uh, veterans services of Genesee County and all the veterans groups in the area and and I mean you can talk a little bit more about that but in this time of year, and especially with everything that's went on um, uh, around the world, it, it's such, it's a great time to show your appreciation for veterans and the active duty military that's out there. And we are doing an event called Salute the Troops, right? Right. That's going to be at the HAP office. Uh, that's at the corner of Linden and Corona Roads in beautiful Flint Township. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and what we've done, and I know uh, most of you guys in the listening audience today have heard about this promo at WRSR. Mm -hmm. And we are looking, we're blowing it up a little. We're, yeah. we're taking it to the next level. That's kind of how we roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. take an idea and we might uh, expand it. So we are obviously a sponsor of the official Salute the Troops promotion uh, right. on the Fox. But we've decided to take a little bit um, a little bit more and, and create kind of a resource fair 
for mm-hmm. veterans in the area. Yeah. Um, and one of the ways for right now that, that the listeners can get involved, we hear over and over that troops that are um, stationed throughout the world, one of the first things that they need, one of the things that makes their day better, believe it or not, is a fresh pair of socks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who'd have thunk, right? <laughs> yeah. Now we're running around barefoot, yeah. right? <laughs> exactly. But our troops around the country, around the world, need socks. So right. we, as part of this event, we are going to collect socks, preferably new. Well, they have to be new. Preferably dark colored socks. Apparently yeah. that's a request. Yeah. Dark colored On the calf, socks. Not not yeah. Yes. Not, not footies. So yeah. like, you know, full length or knee length socks uh, for the troops. We will have a collection uh, uh, box it, at our office at Lennon and Corona Roads. That should be up by this week. So prior to our event, um, which is on September 25th, you could stop by the HAP office at Lennon and Corona, drop off some brand new socks that will help um, for the troops that are stationed around the yeah, world. Yeah, and that's during office hours. Right. Because oh, they'll be bringing it in exactly. at night. Exactly. Yes, our so security team is there um, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Mm-hmm. We'll have a drop box in our lobby. Mm-hmm. You are welcome to stop by during business hours, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Drop off socks right. for the troops. And then uh, get you'll get more info about the event coming up on September 25th. Yeah, and this is an event that uh, actually 103.9 The Fox started. It was they did these banners that they took around to events and had v- events that uh, revolved around these banners thanking the troops. And they get signatures on them, and then they send them off uh, to the troops wherever they are. And they try to concentrate on uh, uh, Michigan uh, groups. This one, I I guess, is going, is targeted for the USS Michigan. Yep. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) So we got that Michigan connection in there. And they will have that there for people to sign and to send. And then they're going to have all kinds of things there. And like I said, we're going to do another show on this. We're going to do a show um, in two weeks, right? Um, Yeah, we'll have more details on it coming up. But what I can tell you is you should mark your calendar for September 25th. It's going to be an awesome event at Hap Flint at 2050 South Linden Road in Flint Township. And um, we are going to have uh, food trucks to make it fun. Of course, the banner will be there for people to sign. We'll have some activities for the kids to maybe make cards to send to the troops as well. And of course, the sock donation, really, really important. And we'll have lots of the veterans and other agencies in the Genesee County area that have resources and services for vets and active duty. So it'll be a great opportunity to learn more about that. Yeah, and on the 19th, we'll get really into more details. There might be some surprises Mm -hmm. that we're still trying to confirm at this time. And so we're hoping by the 19th, we'll have all those answers for you. So tune in on Sunday, September 19th at 7.30 a.m. here on The Facts. And we should have more information for you on that. So anything else that HAP has going on? Because I know you do nothing. Right, right I know. I'm sitting here waiting. I wish I had something to do. No, we are so active in the community. We have been uh, very active in the vaccination effort, of course, here in Flint, coordinating with the Genesee County Health Department. But I have an interesting story. So Sam Cox, who is a, a McDonald's yeah. owner-operator here mm-hmm. in town, yeah. um, he brought us in to uh, assist with some activities there around vaccination. And that's led to us doing similar activities with the McDonald's in Detroit. Awesome. So we are doing some great things with the Henry Ford Health System and their mobile unit to get out there in, in Detroit and try to help make a difference and get more people vaccinated. We'll, we'll probably have more info maybe when we talk again about how those of us who um, might be needing a booster can get that and we'll be creating some events to help people make that easy for people. But it's been so gratifying to see the partnerships that have developed. Um, the, the way that the McDonald's owner operators have really stepped up to provide a place for this type of activity, support for the volunteers at these types of activities, and most of all, helping to make um, getting a vaccination a positive and fun experience. So that's really been our focus and something I think we'll be still looking at for quite a time now. Yeah. You know, hey, even my daughter got a vaccination and she hates needles. Absolutely <laughs> hates them. So if, 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 if she can take the jab, you can too. So 
Well, I mean, it's sure better than the alternative. <laughs> yeah, That's it's what better. I keep yeah, thinking, exactly, right? exactly, yeah. exactly. And you know, so I want to thank you, but the time just rolls by when it's me and you talking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For Oopsie. you listeners, you know, we can't talk at all. We're very shy. But um, <laughs> let's. It was great having you here, and we're going to have you back on the 19th to talk more about the Veterans uh, Salute the Troops event, and we hope everybody listens in then. So thanks for coming. Terrific. Thanks, Tracy. Bye. All right. So today we're doing something a little different. You all know that we have some great community events in our area and in the uh, Johnson County area uh, overall, but this is an event that really takes in pretty much most of Jesse County. It's called Bikes on the Bricks. And we have our guest today in the studio is Sergeant Nicole Reed from the City of Flint Police Department. And I hear that you are the all-knowing master of all for Bikes on the Bricks. Is that you? Well, you know, I wouldn't say that, but I do know a lot about the event here. So I was told that you're the one who coordinates a lot of it, including the, the great ride that starts at in Flint Township at Vehicle City Harley-Davidson on Miller and I-75, right? Yes, ma'am. And what is the date uh, of the event this year? So the dates are September 10th, 11th, and 12th, and the ride occurs on the 11th, Saturday. Yeah, so this Friday. Yeah. That's great. I'm excited. I'm excited because I love seeing all the motorcycles. So for those people who don't know what Bikes on the Bricks is, um, why don't you give them a little overview of the history of the event? Okay. So this is our 14th annual event. Um, It started back years ago, and it was a nice little quaint event. Um, (laughs) It actually started with um, just local departments um, within the Genesee County. Um, We actually had four departments that came together and uh, police officers, motor officers, and they came up with this grand idea and start bringing people aboard. Um, And and they created this this wonderful event um, where they have police training through the weekend. And then it broadened up where they turned it into a bike show and then they brought in entertainment and then the civilians started coming and it just seems like every year it gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, I think the the first year, the ride itself that went through the community, it, I don't think it was as long as this one is going to be this year, right? No, it's not. <laughs> they haven't been as long. Um yeah. You know, we over the years, it's it's been about a 40 mile ride. This year, we've turned it into a 50 mile ride. It's beautiful, spectacular, um, and I think everybody's gonna love it. Yeah, and they they pretty much drive all through Genesee County, right? Yes, uh, they, every year the the ride is different. Um, we try to move it to different locations throughout Genesee County. This year, it's actually gonna be the northwest portion of the county. Okay. And like I said, it's beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, again, that the ride itself is Saturday, right? It is Saturday. So Saturday, uh, and what's the date on that? I can't even remember. Saturday the, is the, the 11th, 11th, right? Yeah, yes. seri- oh, September 11th, oh yeah. Okay, so 9-11, we're doing a special ride, and you have your first responders are going to be out there, your police officers. I think you have people from other, uh, like, non-police officers are in the ride, right? Yes, yes, okay. we have our, um, they assist us. We, we have our blockers um, mm-hmm. that assist with uh, some of the traffic control along the way. And then, um, you know, of course, all our, our police departments that, that help us out. And uh, then our civilian riders. So, yeah. they, you know, there's a, there's a lot entailed. Yeah. So if somebody wants to join the ride, is there a sign up for that? Or do they just, y'all come? Or what, well, how does that work? Can, <laughs> they can get registered uh, right there at Vehicle City. Day of. Okay. Um, oh, day they, of registration. Yep, Great. They, Great. They can go and, and, and come on board. And do they do any... Uh, fundraising or anything at this or is it just a let's go ride this is a charity ride um this is for this year this is the ed henderson charity ride um ed henderson was a huge part of our our committee and our board uh he just recently passed a month ago um you know we dearly miss him and and we want to dedicate this ride to him um so so it is a charity ride and and at the end of the event 
whatever is raised, uh, we donate to certain charities. Okay. Now, what are some of the charities you've given to in the past? Um, So, uh, Old News Boys, um, we've done uh, My Cops. It's Uh it's an organization for um, police officers uh, throughout the state. Um, there's been several over the years. So this is a great way for the community to get out and support their local police departments and any of the officers from that just go out and say thank you. Yes, right. A great, a great way to say thank you and to help uh, give to charities. Um, so Friday night, uh, where are the event center on Friday night? So Friday night, um, you'll see well, throughout the weekend, you'll see the police training on the flat lot. Um, that occurs on Friday. Um, there will also be the beer tent out on the flat lot um, from 4 to 10. Mm-hmm. And then we have mini uh, bike race racing that goes on also um, on the flat lot. Yeah, and that's all down in the city, city of Flint, on the, you know, by the bricks, on the bricks, in the flat lot, right? <laughs> on Saginaw Street, if, if you're not familiar. Um, then Saturday... Uh, the festivities come to Flint Township to Vehicle City Harley Davidson, right? Yes, ma'am. And so they st- st- only start the ride there, and then they do their fifty-mile tour, the three-hour tour. <laughs> 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 and that just came to my head. Um, and then they uh, end up at uh, the flat lot again, right? They do downtown okay. Flint, right on the bricks. They'll have it all uh, uh, blocked blocked off, and uh, everything shut down downtown. And then mm-hmm. it, we bring the ride right right downtown Flint, and everybody gets to park their bikes and enjoy the festivities. Yeah, and on Saturday that morning, um, looks like it starts at eight a.m. Uh, people can go there and buy T-shirts, uh, ride registration, and see some training. Right. Yeah, police training. Yes. Okay. Yep. And then um, enjoy the festivities the rest of the day. And then, uh, then you're also on Sunday. You also have something going on. And where is is that all down at the flat lot? It is. It okay. is. Um, you will have the opening ceremony uh, at 10 a.m. And then obviously you'll have your motor motorcycle registration uh, 10 to 1. Um, again, there's tons of vendors down there. Uh, food trucks. Um, the police training, um, so so a lot of activities downtown on Sunday also, and then we actually that's the day of the police uh, competition where they're actually riding these courses, uh, being scored, and then and then we have our award ceremony. Nice, also that day. nice. That that should be interesting. That would be interesting to watch. I don't think I've ever seen that part. I've seen where they take off, which is amazing to watch. The number. How many are you expecting to participate this year? Uh, officer wise, we're, we're in the mid fifties right now. Wow. And when you see 50 bikes take off, and and I'm sure you'll end up with more than that because you'll have civilian riders too, but when you see that, first of all, the sound, you know, all, the, Amazing. all those bikes starting out. Amazing. And it, it, yeah. even if they're not all Harleys, which I don't know what all these people are riding, but, it, you know, just you get 10 Harleys and it's loud. <laughs> it's it, loud. It, it, yeah, yeah, it'll shake you. <laughs> yeah, it, but the sound of it's amazing. And then yeah. to watch them all, all go off and just see this this procession of them going out, it, it's really something to see. It, it is. It's, it's, it's almost very emotional um, when you get um, these people together, the police, civilians, and everybody involved. When you get that amount of people that come together, uh, it's a pretty mo- emotional thing. Um, because you know it's it's just to see the people interact and and enjoy themselves and such a a big event like you know turn out so well yeah. um, it it it's great well and see the interaction I mean you know police officers have had it hard the last few, <laughs> couple of years really yeah. um, and t- we need to be there for them because they're there for us right. Yeah. So it's nice to see uh, positive interactions, and it's a good way to get to know uh, police officers in your area on a one-on-one basis in a comfortable setting where it's not an emergency. Yeah, <laughs> not an emergency setting, I guess, would be the yeah. best thing. It's kind of like the National Night Out where you can you know, actually go up and talk to people and be relaxed and not worried about an emergency situation at the yeah. time. So that's great. So now, do you have any special stories that you'd like to share for us, uh, share with us that have happened at some of the races, like something that was your favorite thing that happened? Uh, you know, 
over the years, it's like I said, I, 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 this, this event is dear to my heart. I enjoy it a lot. Um, obviously the, the officers that come, they're like my brothers and sisters Mm -hmm. and, and we enjoy seeing the people come and, 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 and have a great time. Um, I just think in general, more so, I, I get a kick out of all the hooting and hollering between the officers when it comes competition day. <laughs> there's a lot of smack talk. Uh, they enjoy themselves. You know, there's right. there's a lot of pranks going on behind the scenes that, that maybe the <laughs> civilians don't necessarily observe, but we do. Yeah. Um, so, it, and it switches up every year. Uh, so, yeah. so you know, I'm excited to see what happens this year yeah. and, uh, and, and, and get her going. Now, do you ride? I do ride. You do. Yes, so do you I ride you, you ride in it? You oh, ride in I events? don't participate in this event just because. Somebody um, has to oversee it. Because <laughs> I, I put it on and, and right. I, I create the courses that right. the officers ride. Right. Um, so I don't, I don't uh, compete, um, but I do get out there and, and have fun with them. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So now um, as motorcycle officer. Because that's what you said you are. Um, you're a sergeant. Let's get this right. She's not just an officer. She's a sergeant. <laughs> and how many years have you been in the in uh, been an officer? So 23 years. Wow. Good for yeah. you. Yeah. The man, the things you must have seen. I probably don't <laughs> yeah. even want to know. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, c- uh, good for you. And, and I thank you for your service to our community. Now, have you always been at Flint? I've always been at Flint City. Wow. I, was, I started there when I was a very young, young kid okay. and uh, been there ever since. Thank That's God. great. Yeah. That's great. Now, were you from the area or did you come here from somewhere else? I was born and raised in Flint. All right. Yes, all right. Ma'am. What area did you grow up in? Um, it was over on the west side of Flint, uh, okay. uh, near uh, Ballinger and Welch area. Right Ballinger and Welch. I grew up at Flushing and Ballinger area. So. Oh, so we were in <laughs> right the same, <laughs> same, same neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's I love so it. Funny. I love that neighborhood growing up. Yeah, I was in Flint Township side, you know, south of uh, Flushing Road, west of Ballinger. Yes, so right around the corner. Yeah, right around the corner. That's so funny. Yeah. But um, and we love to see people that grow up in our area that stay in the area to try to make it the best place it can be so it's wonderful that you've uh, dedicated yourself to that now let's think here we have bikes on the bricks coming let's tell everybody again september 10th 11th and 12th that's that's this friday saturday and sunday and that's going to be at the flat lot on friday uh downtown and then Saturday, the festivities start off at Vehicle City Harley Davidson. You can, it's an uh, y'all come ride, right? You can register a- that day. A- absolutely. <laughs> I mean, pre register if you can, but if you're going to get on down there, get on down there early. Yeah. Now, if they want to pre register, do they go to the website? Go to, go to the website. It's bikesonthebricks.com. Oh, that's easy enough. Bikesonthebricks.com. Even I can remember it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so they can come out, they can ride, they can um, help by uh, contributing to uh, the charity. Uh, and then you have the end of the ride uh, is in downtown um, at the flat lot. And then you're going to have a party again, right? Yes, ma'am. And, <laughs> and then on Sunday, it's all about the competitions, it, right? It, yeah, all about the competition. It's gold yeah. time. And that's at flat lot as well. Yes, ma'am. And it, we... Um, want to make sure that we are letting our officers know that we support them and this is a great way to come out and show your support for them so either at vehicle city harley davison on saturday or at the flat lot on friday saturday and sunday you can um, help support them so i want to thank uh sergeant reed for coming in today and bringing us news of this great event that's going on in our community and i want to remind our listeners uh that if you have questions or comments you can uh, go to discover flint township at gmail.com or you can find us on facebook at flint township events f-l-i-n-t-t-w-p-e-v-e-n-t-s you can visit our websites discoverflinttownship.com or flinttownship.org and i would like to thank all our sponsors hap Shea, financial plus i'm missing somebody rusty oh guaranteed rate (laughs) and 103.9 fox join us next week and i want to remind everybody stay safe stay healthy shop local buy local and discover flint township 
This has been Discover Flint Township with Tracy Tucker. For more information, visit discoverflinttownship.com. Flint Township is ready for your next move. The preceding program was pre recorded and was paid for by Discover Flint Township. The views expressed are those of Discover Flint Township and do not necessarily reflect the views of 103.9 The Fox or Krill Communications, Inc.